Well, similar to the last time the Commodores and the Firebirds met, it was a high-scoring affair here at Eldridge Park, but the Commodores just couldn't get the better of the long ball and dropped this one to Orleans by a score of 10-8. to Here to close the door alongside MJ Newsom, Aiden Blank, I'm Ryan Martin. MJ, we'll start with you. Just your first thoughts on this one. The Commodores dropped their last game before the All-Star break. Yeah, Ryan, you kind of mentioned another barn burner, and the pitching was not exactly great tonight for the Commodores, but the hitting has not been the issue at all. It's another eight-run loss, or when the Commodores score eight runs, they've lost a handful of those games. So you really hate to see that. The pitching, like we mentioned, just really wasn't there. Matthew Dallas did not exactly have his stuff on the start. Bullpen wasn't horrible. Gavin Wilhelm came in and did a good job. But overall, just a tough one to lose. Now Orleans gets the last laugh, last laugh excuse me, in this season series. Yeah, you mentioned that Orleans taking the final game at these two teams will play. Aiden, MJ just mentioned what the performance was like a little bit from Matthew Dallas. Yeah, the right-hander was on the mound and was able to, to stay in this game. Pitching coach Mike Landry keeps him in there, lets him fight through it all, and we saw some fight from the newest Wake Forest, Demon Deacon. We did. They gave him a chance to end that inning, and he did. And, I mean, it led to a pretty good outing from Gavin Wilhelm. The bullpen wasn't much of a problem. I didn't have many major concerns. You know, they gave up some runs, but no major concerns with the bullpen. But, yeah, Matt Dallas, he's just fighting, and that's what you want to see out of a guy in summer. Well, it is summer ball, and you are supposed to be concerned less about the wins and losses, even though – that is technically a job as a head coach. It is your job to be concerned a little bit less with the losses and more about can we prepare him to go transfer to a power ACC school like Wake Forest. Yeah, and MJ, on the other side of the ledger, a couple of long balls, Donovan LaSalle, Jack Bell sending one over left field fence. The Doors kept their offense in it, but they go, uh, they go, uh, they go down retired three up three down in the top of the ninth just not going to cut it here in Orleans yeah tough one the long ball was a big factor Jack Bell got his first couple hits since July 10th that was great his first long ball as well but on the other side Daniel Bucciere the brother of Matt Bucciere former Commodore had two long balls himself double the season total and that was kind of the difference Ryan yeah that'll do it here in Orleans though it'll be an all-star break coming up all-star game happening at the Gov tomorrow before the doors are back in action on Monday at home versus YD but here in Orleans where the Firebirds take it by a score of 10 to 8 this was closing the door